On this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk about our primary low water cutoff. We removed this during a boiler inspection to make sure that our float chamber is clear and clean and that all of our uh, components are working properly on the float head. Looking at this, obviously I'm going to want to clean this and I'm also going to clean the inside of the chamber. Um, but while I've got it out, we're going to take a look and make sure that everything's correct in here. These springs are straight, they're not bent, um, they flex, and we can operate this and actually watch the float switch uh, activate up in the little window. So let's take a look inside the chamber and you'll see we probably need to flush that as well. When our unit's in operation, we can build up material inside the float chamber and one of the key things we're doing during our inspection is making sure that the inside of that chamber is clear and unblocked so that uh, our low water cutoff functions properly.